chasing up after faggots. Come here, boy. But naked, man. Bestiality. Bestiality. Vlad was vexed with the shit, man. He hated the shit, man. So the Lord, guess what the Lord did? He delivered him. And Lot, in that, in that, uh, in that particular case, Lot represents the elect, man. Because the elect gonna get delivered out of this shit. Because the elect walking about this shit, walking about this society daily, man. All right. The elect got gotta have their wives ruling over them. With a with a real manly mindset, you don't want no bitch ruling over you, man. Right. 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 You can't tell your female what to do. Shit in the UK, uh, the brother you quite call that brother video uh, not too long ago, a few weeks ago, and UK. Now, now it's considered domestic violence if you tell your female you're not gonna give her no money, man. <laughs> so if your bitch come to you and say, "Hey, I want to go buy a purse," and it's your money you worked hard for, you tell her no. She, she's obligated. She has the right to call the cops and say, "Hey, domestic violence." When they come, he ain't wanna give me no money, and they gonna lock your ass up, man. Go on to that right. Come, go on to that decree and righteous decree, man. You know. You gotta live in a society where your children has to watch, like, bruh, it gets to a point you can't even have your kids watch the TV no more, man. That's yeah. right. Because every little fucking cartoon is fag bags, man. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, there was been fag bags when we was watching them, but now it's like so damn flamboyant, it's like, yo, all your kids see is fag bags. When we was watching shit, it was it was so deep, it, it was so tucked so deep into the show. Yeah. You you wouldn't really pick it the shit up, man. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, nah, we gonna we gonna hide the straight shit and put nothing but faggy shit on the forefront, man. They got that show. Man, got a cartoon. Man. With, just supposed to be a superhero, but his, his superhero uh um personality is a woman. Like a girl, like he's a boy, but he turned into like a, a woman superhero or some shit. But it's been on like the Powerpuff Girls. You got who, who they got as devil or the Satan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a fucking cross dresser. And this this was in the early 2000s on Cartoon Network. You know? So it been it been on that shit. And on the Disney Channel, I forgot what show it is. It's not even a cartoon, it's a live show. You had you had a lesbian couple on there. And there's another one. Uh, well, you had they. It's a cartoon with on Disney Channel, I believe. They was at a concert and they showed two boys kissing. Shit, shit. Nickelodeon had a fucking show called Zoey One On One. Fucking, they had the Jake though. It was always the Jake for some reason. The Jake will always make the homo comments, and everybody else would be looking at the Jake like, "Yo, what's wrong with you?" Like the Jake would tell tell another dude, "Hey, he's 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 looking real delicious." Like, "Yo, what type of shit is that, bro?" You know, this society is vexing, man. That's why Lot was so vexed, because the shit is, yo, Lot couldn't do shit. Hey, how can you enjoy yourself? How can you live your life right in a place that's so wrong, man? It, it makes you want to kill everybody, man. Maybe if you was to kill everybody and all them faggots and all the corrupt people would be dead, then you would be able to take a, a deep breath, a, a sigh of relief, like, ha, ah, now I can finally enjoy the earth, man. That's why we hasten the days. That's why we want Yahushai to come, man. Right. Because Yahushai is going to be that destroying wind that That's give right. us that side of relief, man. Right. Because right. without him, we're going to be vexed till, till he come. He, we're going to be vexed till he come, man. Yeah, right. Shit, even when, even when the shit hit the fan, ain't going to be no TV and power. We still going to be vexed. Because, hey, them niggas ain't going to stop. And the scriptures say that, man. When Sodom and Gomorrah was going to get destroyed, man, they was marrying and drinking yeah, and, and, and doing all that shit. So the niggas still going to be doing all this wicked shit. Yeah. Until, it's until the worse. destruction come. Worse, man. It's gonna be eating each other. Ain't gonna be no police to stop them. So it's gonna be worse, man. Yeah, I, the bro, brother brought the scripture. We're gonna laugh at them in the yeah. time. Yeah. So it's gonna be a balance, too, because we're gonna be laughing our ass off when we see these people ain't got that job that they just invest their whole spirit into. That's right. You know? <laughs> That's gonna be the funny thing. Yeah, you believe that our Lord and Savior, our uh, world ignorant called Jesus Christ, which is not a white man, is going to come back and destroy this place. And our job and our whole mission when we come out here is to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, which, is co which contains the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and to tell them that they are not these bywords over here. They're not Haitians, they're not Jamaicans or Dominicans or Mexicans or Native Americans that they're the true children of Israel and their power is coming back, it's going to return. And they have to wake up and return to their power and, and seek their power. If not, they're going to get destroyed. 
right? That's right. Crying. So, so, so for example, I'm just saying. Yeah, right. So every white man is one of us. It's not every white man because it's not it's not a it's not a complexion thing, all right? It's a spiritual thing, all right? The spirit beareth witness, all right? That's what the scriptures say. So if the let's say for if, if let's say for a, a pale guy was to come up right now, right? And you know, because the scriptures also t say to try the spirit. Get some scriptures out here. Uh, the scriptures also tell you to try the spirit. And the pale guy was to come up here, and you know, was to ask the pale guy, hey, what's your nationality? Let's say if he was to say, I don't know my nationality. I never knew my father. My mom never taught me about my father. So we started going through scriptures, saying, hey, you know, this and that, this and that, the third. And he started, and his spirit's resonating with it. Then nine times out of ten, he might be an Israelite. If he's not, then he's going to slavery. Of course. That's right. That's right. It's plain and simple. There's no right. way about it. Where does it say? Alright. This is Revelations. This is Revelations 13. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are the children of the Most High. Yeah, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So uh, uh, the spirit of an uh, Israelite is going, to, is going to resonate with these scriptures. It's going to go through, let's say, let's say like you said, a pale guy comes up here, all right? And we tell him, hey, man, you know, Israelites are supposed to be at the bottom. They get treated like scum. And he'd be like, yeah, for some reason my whole life, even though I was a white boy, everybody in my Everybody around my neighborhood, they treated me like shit. And they treated all the other white boys like they was cool. But I'm white just like them. Alright? That's probably what that's because they spirit probably uh, uh they spirit probably resonate with being an Israelite. Let's say that, that so called pal guy have more swag than a uh, uh, another uh than a than a different white boy, man. Cause our people right here, man, we, we our spirit is so strong, man, because we are the children of the most high, man. All right? Our spirit's so strong, we more lively than everybody on earth. All right? So you can tell, you can tell who's an Israelite and who's not, man, just by their aura, just by their presence, their their stance, their stance, how they stand, how they talk, how they move, how what type of bitches they 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 uh they lust after or they attract, so to say. The the way they the way they want to eat their food, all right, the condition they live in, okay? The type of music they listen to. You can tell all that all that resonates with being an Israelite because we're 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 the most dominant people on earth, man. If I can say something, I, it's your bloodline. That's what yeah, he's saying. Blood. It's your blood. It ain't about your complexion. It's about your bloodline. Like Blake Griffin, his daddy is darker than, than all of us up here, but he had sex with a white woman, a so-called white woman. And Blake Griffin came out looking like he looked. Well, Blake Griffin is still an Israelite. He a That's Levite. Right. The so-called Haitians are Levites. That's what Blake Griffin is. Now Blake Griffin went and had sex with another white woman, and he, now his son even looked more white. Same thing with me. If I have sex with Taylor Swift, the baby gonna come out looking very pale. And then, and if my, and if it's a son and he can have sex with another woman that look like Taylor Swift, it's gonna look even more pale. So no matter what your complexion, as long as your bloodline go back to those twelve tribes. But for the most part, yeah, the so-called white man going to slavery. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, um, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. But try the spirits. Yeah, man, believe not every spirit. Because the same thing, if a pal dude was to come up here and didn't know his nationality and was to try his spirit, it could have been a, a dark-skinned guy come, okay. come up here. Hold on real quick. It could have been a dark-skinned guy to come up here and say, yeah, you know, I think I'm one of these people, and then we test his spirit, and his spirit is totally off. He probably a terror, man. It works yeah. just a terror, a terror, a terror. Yeah, meaning, meaning, get that parable, terror, uh, the the, 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 the terror of the weeks. Watch that one. Too. Uh, you got confusing yeah, faces. Yeah. Hold that. You got one. Yeah. Go ahead. This is John six and sixty three. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. So it's not about the flesh, it's about that spirit. And if you got an Israelite spirit in you, the Lord is dealing with you if you're part of the elect first. All right? If you're not an Israelite, you're going to die, man. That says the Bible is no other way to put it, man. It's all about the spirit, man. Just like the brother said, it start with your bloodline, right? Because you're an Israelite, 
then you're gonna have the spirit of an Israelite, man. Alright? If you're a heathen, you're gonna have the spirit of a heathen. It don't matter about the flesh, it don't matter if you white, black, purple, or pink, man. Right, that's right. And, and, uh, back to answer that question, Ted, for example, Ted, for example, is exactly what the brother was saying. In the sense of, let's say, let's say slavery, let's take it back to slavery, all right? The slave owners, the slave owners would go, would go and, and, and take a, 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 a slave, a slave female, a bed, a bed which they'll call it, right? They'd take a so-called Negro woman and have sex with her, and the baby would come out. The baby might come out dark skin, all right? But, Baby would come out dark skin, but the father is a fucking slave owner. Alright? So the, fa the the slave owner would just throw that baby into the field, man. Throw him in the field. Now you got a dark skinned white boy spirit in the field with all the Israelites, man. Grow up. Now he's having kids, and they all keep the dark complexion going and going and going. They're not, you know, they're not gonna end up being Israelites because they spirit within them, they bloodline is a heathen bloodline, man. Add on to that. I have another question. Okay. Okay. How, where in the Bible says the tribe of Judah? No, 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 no. Uh, Negroes are in the tribe of Judah. Show me the Bible. Uh, it's prophecy. I got, I got the uh, Deuteronomy. Or Levi or Haitian. Show me the Bible. Yeah. It's about it's, Benjamin. It's, right. it's about prophecy. Because the thing is, the prophecy speak, and the way the prophecy speak, the the characteristics or the resemblance, or sometimes the net, the the geo geological position that these people is going to be in the scriptures described man. That's right. Right up. All right, so this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20. I'm going to start at 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Deuteronomy 28, right? Yeah. So Deuteronomy 28 from 1 to 15 uh, is, is blessings, all right? From 15 on down is curses that would happen to the Israelites if they were not to take heed to the to the Heavenly Father's word. All right, go ahead. God, to, to, to the point. This is the uh, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And this is one of the main, this was one of the main prophecies at that time, right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Okay, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Alright? If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, this is after the Israelites came out of Egypt, man. After right. the Exodus. Alright? Right. This right. was after the Exodus and the Lord said he was gonna bring them into Egypt again. Okay, go ahead. So, 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 uh, Egypt right here. It don't make no sense to go to Egypt again with ships. Wait, wait. Hold is on, that hold Egypt? On. Jump in, okay. Okay. Get there. Oh, okay. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee again into Egypt. So like the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Yeah, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, just like the brother was saying, all right? Egypt, Egypt, if I'm not mistaken, was supposed to be an 11-day journey by foot into the land of Israel, man. So it would make no sense for him to take his ship to go back into Egypt. The word Egypt, if you could get that from me in the scriptures, man. Got it. House of Boy. It's Exodus. 22. Hold on, hold on. He, he, he kind of lost. Let's go back. All right. You said the word says God would take, well, this land will go to Egypt on ships, right? Again. Mm -hmm. Again. So that's actual word saying that they will travel to Egypt by a ship. Alright, check ships. this out. Plural. Check this out. Now we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the understanding from ships. They was gonna get put on boats yeah. and go back to Egypt. But check this out. This was after they left Egypt. Now we're gonna we're gonna help you understand what the scripture is saying. Now get that. And remember, remember, after the children of Israel left Egypt, ain't no record of them ever going back to Egypt. This is Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yeah, so check this out. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord God said, He, he is the power that brought us out of Egypt. All right, he brought us out of Egypt, all right? He, he brought us out of Egypt, out of uh, the land of bondage. All right, and if you go into the, if you go into concordance, if you look it up, the word Egypt means the house of bondage, man. All right, so. Okay. Yes, I know that. All right, so, so he's going to bring us into the house of bondage again with ships. Go ahead. God. By the whereof 
by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt see it no more again. That, no, that, that, that place that was not going to see no more again was going to be our homeland. Jerusalem was not going to see it no more again. What? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond for bondmen and bond women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall save you, no man shall deliver you. Who's gonna go, who's gonna go to Egypt again? It's a house of bondage, it's a slavery again. By ship, right? And no man was going to save us. We was going to be slaves again. Okay? The only record that was was the transatlantic slave trade, man. And and to get in the debt, the transatlantic slave trade, we went to them ships and we went into the house of bondage, which is America, man. We That's served right. our slavery over here in America, man. That's in why America, America. It's cut. On your dollar bill, got a pyramid. That's why um, in Washington, D.C., it's set up like ancient Egypt. That's with right. The Lakes. phallic symbols and all of those things, the obelisks. That's right. Yeah, the obelisk. I, I, know, I know about the uh, That's conspiracy. All. Okay. That, it's not conspiracy. It's they it's got it. No, what I mean by that is the